with the United States less than a hundred feet away from going to war with Yemen, Iran, Hezbollah, Iraq, and Syria, just to name a few. It's time for a Middle East Minute. You see, what happened is that the Houthis in Yemen fired a drone at Tel Aviv. They've been doing this for months now, almost 10 months to be exact, but they've always missed. Why? Well, mostly they suck, but also if it ever got close, the US would shoot them down. They've been shooting down Houthi drones for months now. What changed? Well, it was just human error. Israeli, at the radar place, however it works, decided that it was a false alarm. And so, just one said, deflag it, just go away. And so the drone went through Israeli defenses and blew up over Tel Aviv, injuring over 10 people and killing one person. But the big story <coughs> is <coughs> that it went just less than 100 feet away from the Israeli consulate in Tel Aviv, which means if it, that was the target and if it would have hit it and people were there, that would have been a declaration of war on the United States. That is a drone on the United States. That is an attack on the United States. This was an attempted attack on United States soil. That's what everyone has to understand. How close we came to global war. That means war with the Houthis. Yes, the United States government, military, and Israelis have said options are open to what they're going to hit in Yemen. But they're only going to hit a few warehouses and that's it. In reality, if that would have hit the U.S. consulate in Tel Aviv, that's war. Which means going to war with Iran, which probably means China and Russia following suit. We got so close so close to global war. But there's more going on because Israel keeps on bombing the, the Hezbollah in Lebanon. They've been killing more than uh, any time period since the beginning of this war in 10 months. They've been killing four today, four yesterday, injuring dozens of Hezbollah members. The numbers have started to increase dramatically as Israel right now is actually taking out very important targets inside of Lebanon as they prepare for war, which is at this point an eventuality. Of course, in Gaza, pictures of the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, sitting on a chair inside of Rafa have really changed the dynamics inside of Gaza because the Palestinian civilians have been lied to. And they've been seen, they've been shown this picture. It's been spreading around and they're realizing, <coughs> wow, Hamas has lost this war in a big way which you haven't really heard before, but now they really hear it clearly. And Hamas commanders are pressuring Yechia Sinwar, the leader of Hamas, to surrender, or at least get some type of ceasefire and release all the hostages. The dynamic has truly changed in the Middle East. Of course, we had the Iranian ship blow up or sink. No one really knows exactly what happened to it. Big mistake. Well, that's probably a Mossad job, which means that they're also preparing for war with Iran. Because, well, what's the most important thing? Vision. So, what would you do in case you go to war with someone? Well, you start taking out their vision. <coughs> it's a little bit sick. <coughs> and if you take out their vision, they can't see. It's hard to fight if, you, if you're blind. And that's what they've been doing with Iran and its proxies around the Middle East. Of course, the U.S. USS Eisenhower aircraft carrier has just left and is back in the United States, but it's being replaced by, I'm pretty sure, the Teddy Roosevelt, the Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier, replenished, resupplied, ready to go, fresh. It is prepared to fight an army. It is an army. It can take out countries. America is ready to go to war in the Middle East. The only issue is that the President of the United States, Joe Biden, is currently missing in action. He hasn't put out a statement. No one knows what's up with him. Is he alive? Weekend at Bernie's? The Middle East has gotten much more dangerous. Just over the past few weeks, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and India have been having massive clashes. Suicide bombings have up dramatically in that region as the Taliban have been just not really, they're not really good anymore. That Oh, they have never been good. Oops, that was a big mistake, giving over control to them. It's become a big mess. 
fighting is a mainstay of the Middle East. But this amount of chaos and destruction and death is, is unparalleled. And it's only getting worse. This has been the Middle East Minute. See you next video. All right.